Hello everybody, how are we doing? So guys, it has been a while since I've done a hike. Like seriously, I'm, I'm feeling the need to go for a walk because along the coast, heading up Queensland, I was hiking every day, doing mountain climbs, all this beautiful country. And as soon as I hit the outback, there's nothing, seriously. Like lots of driving, but no hikes. So today I am, I'm back in the bush, as you can see. And I'm really excited about this place. So I wanted to put together a little bit of a outback hiking and camping video for you guys. Because today, as you can see, I am actually out going for a hike already. The spot I'm actually located at today is the Clem Walton Park. It's in Outback Queensland for a start, but it's about halfway between Cloncurry and Mount Isa, so about 50 k's in either direction. I've got SOS, no phone signal out here, absolutely not surprising. Even if you're with full Telstra, you'll have nothing, which means it's actually a bit remote, which is really nice. And I'm currently like in the middle of the bush, as you can see but it, it looks really green here. I just want to show you around because most of it's not like this. I stopped here because it was in the shade and really, really beautiful. But essentially, Clem Walton Park, there's a big dam here and there's a little creek that you can camp on this, but there's so much free land basically and no one telling you that I can't walk anywhere, can't do anything. You don't have to stick to the tracks, which I love. I haven't done one of these hikes in a very long time. So basically I have followed the road from my campground down to almost this point. I've probably only walked about a kilometer at this stage, but in front of me is the creek crossing. So I'm camped right on the river. You can apparently swim here. There's a whole lot of freshwater crocodiles. I haven't gotten in. I don't like the look of it, um, but there's no salties obviously. So it is safe to swim. So I've basically walked as far down the track away from the dam as I can to try and get across the creek. And I wanna hopefully go across the creek, uh, walk back across the opposite side of where I'm camping, get up on these sort of little hills, look down on the campground and head back towards the dam to come back to my campsite later this afternoon. So from where I'm standing, this is the shallowest sort of part of the river crossing I can find. Uh, it's like at least a couple meters wide on the normal crossing, but this is right where it evens out. I'm going to rock hop across here. I think that's probably the easiest way to do it and then try and find a path up through this bush to get basically back where I come from but on the other side of this creek. So I did make it across there obviously no worries that's sort of the benefit of it um, being basically end of dry season is there's not too much water sort of flowing here so easy to get across but um yeah just gonna head around here try and bush bash around and if I can get up on those high rocks that view is gonna be beautiful. So there's lots of these really beautiful little birds in here but otherwise this whole country is full of these birds. They suck. <laughs> so that's just what I'm trying to get through. There are a couple little paths. I don't know that these are like necessarily walking tracks. I know there's cattle through here and I've seen a bunch of kangaroos. So I just made it back out to cr the, the creek basically. Um, and I think this is going to be the easiest way for me to, to follow it because I don't want to bush bash. There's going to be snakes and everything in there. Um, but there's a bit, I'll show you now, a bit of a clearer path or a bit like less vegetated down here. I'm sure this would all be underwater when they get decent rain through here with the overflow from the dam. Okay, so moving away from the creek, which is over there, I've just come out into this more open area, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Um, if I can get up on something higher here, it'll just make it so much easier to see around, but I'm headed this way, I think for now, um, and still following along that creek. I was following the river going this way, but if you can see that point over there, that big rocky outcrop, I'm not really sure how far that is. I think I'm actually going to detour, put myself off this way and see if I can get up there because if I could do that, I think that would be the most incredible view. Remembering my campground is back in behind there where I walked yesterday is further that way again. But if I could get up there, I think we would have a beautiful view. I've just stopped in this tiny little bit of shade. I found a tree, which is nice. Um, but already from here, I've got a really great view. This is looking out from under my tree. But if you see over here, see that wall sort of thing there? That's uh, the dam wall that I was talking about. So just on the other side of that, you've got the dam. And then it's really easy to navigate out here. I was actually surprised. But seriously, look at all the greenery. You can easily tell where the water is. The bright green sort of patch in the middle of nothing. 
that uh, rocky peak right on there. You can, it stands out. It's a big rocky point. That's where I climbed to yesterday. And I'd be willing to bet just this tiny rocky point, there's a rock that I look out from my side of the river um, where I'm camping. I'd be willing to bet it's this rock right here because I'm camped just there and I look up at it. So I was hoping to climb these peaks, but I think this one will be really good instead to get that, that really beautiful view. So obviously been a fair bit of cattle through here, but as I said, I am yet to see a cow. I did scare a few kangas when I was like um, standing at the shade tree there, unfortunately. So sorry guys, but yeah, that's literally all I've seen out here. There are actually um, a few lizards as well. Like, as I said, I've been being cautious in that grass about snakes, but it wouldn't surprise me if they were the Gilbert's dragons, but they're way too close or too quick to get a close look sort of thing. So that ahead of me is obviously that peak that I'm going to up there. There's a bit of a valley um, drop off in between it sort of thing. But I don't know, it looks like a nice little climb. It should be a beautiful view. I just got to work out which way I want to go around to get up there. So this is just getting down into the bottom of that valley. You can see the bit of the rise up behind me. Uh, that's the hill I crossed and I'm just looking at that rocky peak in front of me. So yeah, a little bit more vegetated down here, I guess. Uh, a bit more rain runoff would come down here. Like, not that it's rained the entire time I've been in the outback. I don't think it rains much at all in the dry season. But I guess um, holds a little bit more water down here anyway. So a few more gum trees I'm about to walk into. But also, all of this grassy shit that I'm walking through, it is all so, so spiky, all skin effects, prickly sort of shit. So um, I probably could have worn long pants, but it's crazy hot, as I was saying to you. It's easily... I don't know what the temperature is. I don't have service. It's easy 30 plus anyway. It's very hot out here, um, but it's nice, easy walking too because there's so little vegetation. It's pretty easy to pick a path through. Just got to walk like and watch out for those sort of um, loose rocks and then bits and pieces in the grass. So yeah, really beautiful country. I'm, I'm so excited that I get to explore it out here to be honest with you. Alright, just coming over this last ridge, I think this is the last one, then I should have one more dip and then basically straight up um, to that rocky sort of point. Well, it might not even dip, I might actually be able to follow around this way and straight up there. to this last part it's super rocky like a lot more than where I've just come from so I might have to scramble the last bit and then sort of just be careful getting down but I think all the hard stuff is behind me now look at the sheer size of this rock so that's the one I was obviously pointing out from down there that I've been hiking up to but it's massive <laughs> I'd love to get on top of it if I can I'm not sure what's sort of behind it but we'll have a look out the other side as well Okay guys, I made it to the top. I'm looking out over the beautiful dam there and that view, I think, that walk as well, 100,000% worth it. So very hot, as I'm saying, there's a tiny bit of shade up here. That's my big rock I'm just about to walk out on, but I'm at literally the highest point I can see. Like if you look all around me, that's that little bit of shade. More just out back on that side of me, that big rock, <laughs> and then just like, nothing just out back everywhere that's all oh, so exciting <laughs> i think that's so so worthwhile and as i said not too difficult to walk up here i can easily see where everything is it's just hot just hot a bit slippery with the rocks a bit sharp with the grass but it's so good <laughs> So guys, now I'm up here, sitting on the edge of my rock. Let's have a better look at that view. So that, that's the dam that I'm camping. Oh, I'm not actually camping here, I'm camping near the river. But that's Corella Dam, and that's what feeds into the water supply for the creek that I'm basically camping on, so Clem Walton Park. So maybe you can make it out just down here, there's a couple of vehicles. That's probably where my car is, somewhere there. Obviously the dam feeds out the creek all the way along here. So this morning, 
I'd say I walked to about somewhere here. That's where this section, the creek starts to die off. That's where I jumped the creek. From there, I walked back. Oh, sorry, I started from my car, walked along here, walked back along the creek, made my way over these couple ridges, zigzagged around a bit, came up here, up the side of this hill, and all the way to sit myself on my big, beautiful rock. So where I had planned on walking was right around here to get to this other rocky face right near my campground. But I think this view up here is absolutely insane. So much of a better walk. So I'm very, very happy I did this one. So guys, I'm just gonna enjoy my little bit of view for a little bit longer, just sit up here basically and chill and then walk myself back down. As I said, there is not a great deal of shade and I'm sure I'm already sunburnt. I got a little bit sunburnt yesterday and I, I mean, I'm not wearing long sleeves. I do have sunscreen on, but it's crazy hot out here. So I don't wanna be in the heat any longer than I need to. And I've got a bit of a walk back. So I'm just gonna enjoy it and then we'll head on back down there. walking on these rocks um just just gotta watch your step i think <laughs> so quick update i am still making my way back but i've actually decided instead of going back the way i came to make my way uh back a little bit like veer towards the um the dam i guess like back towards the creek but towards my camping end of the creek now obviously as i said i can't cross the creek there because it's a couple meters wide at least but I can, I think, go to the dam wall. Um, it's brought me out with all these beautiful termite nests. So a bit of um, different scenery anyway. So I'm gonna head that way instead of just directly to where I came from and hopefully cross the creek there. Um, and there we go, there's the campground just over here. Oh, how nice is that water? Few people swimming, I still haven't convinced myself to get in there, but beautiful spot. So I've just made my way back to the creek basically because I could hear the water running here. So I've gotten off those rocks. Um, and the thing is, it's narrow enough to cross here, but it's very vegetated, so I'm gonna have to bush bash my way across. But without walking any further down, I think it's my best bet. So I'm just gonna jump over here. So this is my camp basically just right down by the water, really, really beautiful. But obviously my car here, got my chair, a little bit of a fire going, and then just beautiful on the water here. Anyway, I am just gonna relax here for a little bit, make some lunch before I um, find something to do for my afternoon. So now um, I'm walking along the road, as you can see, basically back to, uh, back to where I crossed the creek and I'm about to finished what I started this morning because as I said that is what I wanted to walk around these um, side hills basically and so I did sort of get to do that but and I did do the top of the hill yesterday but I just want to go around and, and finish what I started essentially. So for this section of the walk I'm gonna basically head uh, like towards the dam wall because I did the creek section and I did the outback section <laughs> essentially but I'm gonna head to the dam wall and do a loop around to the other campground. So I'm not sure, I can't remember if I told you guys earlier, but there's a campground at the dam. What's the one I said that has no facilities there, but you can basically just camp on the water there, or you can come down and use the facilities and the parking bays and everything um, on the creek. So I'm, <laughs> I haven't actually been over to the dam campground yet. So I'm gonna head around, try and wiggle my way over the dam wall and round to that side, then follow the road back is the plan. So this is where the road actually leads from my campground towards the dam wall. That obviously being the dam wall up there, but you do have these danger gates you can't cross. Um, so there's a little bit of a road that continues around here. I did have a walk around here yesterday as well, just not right down to the other campground, but this is pretty easy to follow compared to earlier on. Alrighty, so again, 
this is fenced over this section. You can't get up there. I'm going to scramble up the hill because I want to look over the wall, essentially. Much simpler this walk and I have made it to the top already. So I'm going to give you a look at the wall, um, but I want to show you something else as well. So this out here is, of course, that wall or your causeway. Beautiful, beautiful dam. This is Corella Dam that I'm seeing about there. You can actually see a few people already camping around this side. But if you look out on this side, basically with me, this point in the distance, that one right there, that's essentially where I walked to this morning. Then where that white tank is, um, there's a few little campground areas in there. Alrighty, that is where I'm headed, just down there. Doesn't it look beautiful on the water? Still pretty crowded though, obviously lots of people around this time of year. Lots of people on the road with COVID and everything else. So I did consider also walking around the dam, but if you look at the size of it, it'd be a massive walk, but regardless, you just can't do it because like some of the edges are pretty vegetated, you have to bush bash through it. Regardless of that, it would be an incredible spot to kayak or canoe if you brought one with you. So obviously I don't personally have a kayak with me, but I was talking to some people I actually met the other day that ended up here and one of the guys does have a kayak. He said he took it out for a paddle along here. He said it's absolutely beautiful. But of course you have crocodiles in here. And the story he told me, I don't know how true this is, but it's a little bit scary if it is, is that he went up to one of the banks, I don't know which one, and there was a dead crocodile, but a dead two meter crocodile on the bank. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's massive. Keep in mind these are freshies, so supposedly they're not gonna harm you. They're just gonna keep to themselves. I don't know about that but that's the story anyway it gets better so essentially the crocodile had a bite taken out of it and if you're asking me the only thing that's going to take a bite out of a crocodile that size is an even bigger crocodile so i have just made it down to that campground looks like there's heaps of room down here but as well like a whole lot of other campers like there's roads through here everywhere camp set up just basically wherever you want down there pretty cool spot another one in here I think so there are tons of people by the look of it camping down this side there's no way that where I am would actually like accommodate this many people you just literally wouldn't fit in there okay so I did just run into um that's a group of oldies they got a cute little caravan set up right down near the water and um basically I had to come out of the bushes from my walk around and they were like, where did you come from? Um, so I waved and said hello. And I was like, oh, you know, just from the other camp, like from the good spot there. <laughs> and they were like, oh, to be young again, sort of thing. So there you go, guys. Might as well be out doing it now and hiking around while you physically can. Because I don't want to be doing this when I'm retired. Or I mean, I do, but I'd rather be doing it now when I'm capable of literally walking around in the outback all day, sort of thing. So I'm very happy to be doing it now. I'm very grateful for that. But I do have to head back to my camp. This is the main road that I drove in on now that I'm walking. So I'll literally just follow that back along. When I say just followed, it's still a couple Ks that I've got to walk, but at least it's easy walking. And it's getting a little bit cooler now, so not too bad at all. So as you can probably see, like as it's shady around me, um, the sun is actually starting to set. I'm almost back at camp now, so it's obviously not a difficult walk, just walking down the road. Um, but yeah, I, I do actually have to go to dinner now. Um, I met a lovely couple who invited me to dinner tonight. Some of my camp neighbours, I actually met them this morning and they asked me to come over. So I said, of course, I would love to join you. So I can't be too late. I'm headed back there. But then I think, um, so I've got dinner, then I'll have a campfire, I'd say, and then I'll finally head to bed. So I think I had a pretty big day. I'm pretty happy with what I've achieved today. I think in terms of exploring the area, I'm very, very happy. Um, to have got out and saw so much of it and and I really appreciate the landscape and all the little critters out here so it's been really really beautiful alrighty guys thank you very much for watching and joining my adventure um do please enjoy my campfire with me tonight and I'll catch you all in a video very very soon